Oh, it's you. I know I should have never let you play in public. Well, the age you're playing the violin with your hands instead of with your ears. There's an alley where the acoustics are perfect. And besides, I won't be able to hear them. <laughs> oh, that's a nice day, Mr. Flanagan. Oh, I see you got a company, eh? Now, don't be poking fun at me, lady friend, you said me. Halloween, Officer Flanagan! Halloween! <laughs> Why, you look like the very devils themselves. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Mrs. Davis. Tis prettier you're getting with each passing day. Now, Patrick, I'll have none of your butter and blarney. Officer Flanagan, do you think my mother is pretty? I do on me honor, Billy, darling. And this new lady friend I brought you will vouch for the truth of me words. Oh, thank you, Officer Flanagan. It appears to be of the Crescent Roll family. A true gourmet never shies away from a new taste treat. Carl, I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. That could be any kid riding a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. I do wish I could see what you look like. You can, Billy. Uh, I can? Why, sure. With imagination. Imagination? Uh-huh. Just place your hand on my face and look at my eyes. Why, they feel like the buttons on my shoes. That's just what they are. And your mouth feels just like the stitching on my dress. Right again. And your hair, it feels so ragged. Perfect. <laughs> That's why they call me Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann. You're a funny-looking doll. You see, Billy? With imagination, anything is possible. really a beautiful place. Come on, Billy. I don't trust him. There's a good place to hide it. Well, that sounds just like the elevator trains I hear every day. All aboard for Enchanted Square. Here's your tickets, miss. Well, if you'll follow me, Johnny, to our vault of location and select an item of your choice. That sounds like Giuseppe's hurdy-gurdy. And there he is, playing it. Hello, Billy. You guys are the greatest heroes of all time, and I think you should come out of retirement. You guys are the greatest heroes of all time, and I think you should come out of retirement. Oh, 
It's not silly, Mrs. Davis. You know, there's summer seas with the eyes in their head, and there's summer seas with the eyes in their heart. And that's the Lord's own truth. <laughs> 